Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. Today we're going to lay up some parts. We're going to lay up the front part of my nacelle. I'm going to lay this. And that's the top, there's the bottom, and my inlets. I have all my glass cut. And uh, there's my pill ply. I'm not going to vacuum bag these small parts. I'm just going to put pill ply on them. And uh, it comes out pretty good that way. First, what I'm going to do is cover my pastry bag, and we're going to make up another one of them. I'm going to take some resin. I've got this, some micro blooms mixed with this. Just kind of put a little blob right there, fold that in half, where the tape kind of sticks it right there, and kind of work that resin into the corner, and then just Roll her up. Give her a little pinch right there. And we're good to go. So now I'm going to take my piece. Now this has, I uh, wax this several times and then uh, put my part all on there. And once that's set up, I put my primer on. Now I got to put this thickened epoxy in these corners. Because glass still just don't like to bend. We all know that. Let me get this up here a little better. There we go. Okay, so we just want to get a nice bead right there in them corners like that. And if it's a little rough, it's all right because we can smooth it out with our brush. So we're fixing to put some resin on this too. And we just go all the way around, just like so. Okay, there's that. Now I've got my resin mixed up. This is uh, my uh, resin from uh, uh, Applied Technologies there. This is a 4 to 1 mix. So I took my scale, mixed out 100 grams of resin, 25 grams of hardener. Mixed her up real good. See now you can take it and if uh, that is a little rough you can take your sponge, I mean your brush, kind of smooth her out just a bit. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. That's why we use the rubber gloves. Sometimes you gotta get your hands in there. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. But this really ain't that difficult. You know, I've got some pointers from a few buddies. But mainly, what I know about this stuff, I've taught myself. I've never been to any kind of composite school or anything like that. Me and Dad just love airplanes. And uh been building them all our life. And, and uh, we wanted to build... We wanted to build the ultimate machine, and uh, that's how we decided on the B1, because there wasn't a lot of them out there, not any that we can find. If there is someone out there that's got a flying turbine B1, uh, I'd sure like to talk to them. But uh, okay, we put our resin on there like so, and then we take our glass we already have cut, and this goes on a special way. See that little lump right there? That has got to go right there. And just wrap her around there. Now we take our squeegee and uh, get her on there. Now we don't want to squeeze too hard going into this corner because it'll squeeze all our. Uh, Fill her out, and we'll have a void. So you just you just kind of kind of be careful where you got your filler. <clears throat> and we just work it all the way around. I've tried making these movies of me doing this um, two or three different occasions, and uh, I don't know, folks. 
This is dedication to you guys right here. This is not easy to do. I'm not the cameraman slash jet builder man. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Bear with me, folks. We'll get it. So, you know, we need, we need to get some more resin on there because that's gonna a lot of that's gonna soak into the cloth. Anytime you're doing fiberglass work, if you're using 10 ounces of cloth, what that means is 10 ounces per yard, and uh, it's going to take about the same amount of resin as you're using in cloth. Now we're going to put another layer. These are going to be two layers. That's what my other one was. I put two layers and it. it turned out pretty decent. Dad's coming over later and he's bringing his landing gear. And we're going to make another video and I'm going to show you the work I've done on that in a cell. And I just wrapped it around there. Like so. Some people, that's about all there is to this. This ain't real difficult. I know a lot of you guys can do this if you just tried. If you've watched every one of my movies, you should be able to do this on your own. And that's why we're doing it. There's just way too many arcs in the world. Okay. I'm just going to get that soaked. Let that soak. We want that cloth all the way clear. We don't want no white spots. So we'll just dab some resin on there. But if you get too much, that's bad too. So there's kind of a happy medium. What I like to do is, is really saturate it and then uh, squeegee some off. I make sure it's all uh, covered. See how it's soaking into that cloth? If you go too much, that's when you'll end up with your glass floating inside there. And uh, you just don't look good. So when you got them nice, just a nice coat of resin like that you end up with a actually a better bond better lamination now we take our peel plot now this stuff comes off after it's done and uh, you know how this resin will have a waxy film on it when it dries well with this here the, the waxiness comes out of the top and uh, leaves the resin really good for gluing the seams together. You just wrap that around there and you see, you can see exactly what you're doing. You just want to squeegee that in. We still got to be careful up here where we got our filler. But we just want to work it a little bit like that. So you can't see no air bubbles, but you just got to be careful of that filler. See, if I was to hit that real hard, it would gush all that filler out, and uh, there would be a void there. So voids can be avoided if you know what to look for. And you see how that's turned out? It's nice and smooth. And this when this resin sets up, this pill plot will just peel right off. Really easy. It's pretty amazing stuff. But it's for vacuum bagging, but... I figure all these little parts is just uh, too many vacuum bag. I can make them look just as good without them. So there's really not that big advantage to vacuum bagging little parts like this. Peel plot is really all you need. Now we only want to let this set about four hours to where this resin is just starting to go off. And that's when you jump in here and trim your edge. If you wait too long, you won't be able to trim that edge very good and you'll scrap that part. Which we found out. I have scrapped some parts, so I ain't gonna lie to anybody. I might show you a couple of them later. But there you go. That's just that's just how easy that is. There's really nothing to it. But uh we're running out of time, so uh, I'm going to get the rest of these done. Dad's coming back later. And we're going to uh, show you the landing gear and what I have done on the, that in the cell. So uh, we will see you guys back at the shop in just a bit.